In order to be able to examine a horse's mouth properly, we need to place a gag, which is a large metal contraption. It allows the mouth to be open wide so it can assess the teeth, we can assess the gums and the tongue as well. Oh yeah, oh, she's got a, what's happened there? Ah, oh, she's got a broken tooth. And there it is. Oh my gosh. In Wales, Scott's next job is going to be a challenge. I've just had a call from Philip, one of the vets, who needs some help with some horse dentistry. Now, as a small animal vet, we do dental work on dogs and cats all the time, even rabbits occasionally. But my horse dentistry, it's really quite rusty. So I'm really glad that Philip, as an experienced vet, is going to be on hand to help. Waiting for Scott and Philip yeah, are friends Sue great. and Cher and elderly mare Folly. See what sort of mood she's in today? <laughs> Folly! Hello, baby. I've had Folly 28 years now. She was my first horse, my dream horse. Yeah, I love her to bits. <laughs> You're such a good girl, aren't you? You're going to enjoy the dentist today. Her dental appointment, I believe, she doesn't mind too much. Good girl. She tends to be quite relaxed about it, and sometimes she actually looks like she's enjoying it. Come on, then. Oh. Hey, Philip. Hi, how, Scott, you how you doing? I called Scott today to, to give a hand with these horses. I thought it'd be something totally different for him and something he could get involved in. Love that there. Also, it's, it's just handy to have another strong person there to help hold the horses. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm nice Scott. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, you're Sue? I'm Sue. Hi, Hello. I'm Cher. Hi, Cher. And I've heard this gorgeous creature is Folly. It is Folly. Hello, beautiful. They say it's a bit rude to ask a lady her age, but just by the look of her, she looks like she is quite mature. Is that fair? She is mature, like her owner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, um, Folly's about 38, 39 now. Are you? You look absolutely gorgeous. Folly is so beautiful. She's got the most gorgeous blue eyes and she's one of the oldest horses I've ever met. And being that she's a little bit, pardon the pun, long in the tooth, <laughs> uh, she's getting some dental work today. She is, yeah. She hasn't got any problems that I see at the moment, but um, I still make sure that everything's right in her mouth and she's comfortable. Yeah. Horse dentistry is really important in domestic animals because domestic horses live a very long time. Normal horses in the wild live to maybe 20 or so, so the older you get, like with us, the worse your teeth get. So, Philip, this is Folly, the ripe old age of 38. Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Really good. Some horses just keep on going. Yeah. And she's looking really good for her age, too. She is. All right, so, got to put this one on. Yeah, if you just extend it. In order to be able to examine a horse's mouth properly, we need to place a gag, which is a large metal contraption. It allows the mouth to be open wide so it can assess the teeth, we can assess the gums and the tongue as well. So what do you look for first in the examination, Philip? We just check all the teeth, just like your own dentist would do with you. Just goes round, round the whole mouth. So you're feeling for sort of sharp edges, are you? Basically, yeah. It's important that we check anything in the mouth that might be causing the horse's discomfort and stop them eating properly and also old horses to be in danger of losing teeth, so we need to keep on top of what's happening in their mouths. Oh yeah, oh, she's got a, what's happened there? Ah, oh, she's got a broken tooth. And there it is. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Whoa. Yeah. That is huge. Whereabouts is that come out it's from? It's halfway along on, on, on her offside. Okay. Yeah. Halfway along? Yeah, on the bottom. My goodness. Mm. So that was a bit shocking seeing that drop out of her mouth. You can see that root there has gone rotten. Yeah. It is quite confronting to see a tooth just come out of a horse's mouth like that. But for Folly, she's an old girl and to lose a tooth at her age is quite normal. And the good thing about it coming out whilst we're here is that we're able to check for any underlying problems. I think yeah. that feels okay. It's not really impacting on any of the other teeth and it's not infected. It's not seemingly causing her any discomfort. Yes, yeah, I'm happy with that. The next stage of Folly's treatment is a procedure called floating. Put a bit of downward pressure with this hand then on, on the, yep. the handle. Using a coarse there. file, 
Scott will shave down any sharp edges on Folly's teeth. Yeah, you really have to give it a bit more force than you'd imagine. Good girl. It's again, it's just about not taking up too much, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. If you want to do the same then on the bottom. Folly, you being a very good girl. She's very patient, isn't she? She's, she's, she's just so good. She's such a good girl. Oh, OK, baby. There we go. I mean, have a feel, Philip. I think yeah. that feels OK. I'm happy with that. I think it went very well. Yeah. Folly was happy with Scott. She seemed quite relaxed with him. Oh, yes, yeah, she did, yeah. She did, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, there, there you go, go, baby. OK, wonderful. Good, Good girl. girl. Thank you, guys. She's going to feel much more comfortable now. Now we're done with Folly's dental procedure, she's got a perfect smile. I think it's only fair. She's been a good girl at the dentist. She deserves a treat. There you go. Hey, don't tell Mummy. Don't tell Mummy. Hi, I'm Dr Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.